consumers will just continue to move around and defect until they find exactly. a company yeah. that does deal with their particular behavior. They're not going to change their behavior for you. They're just going to change companies exactly. that they deal with. Do you know in the, in the 60s to change a bank, it took three weeks and, and no less than eight visits? And if you were a woman, forget it, you had to bring your husband. T today, <laughs> right. TD Bank, on their homepage, switch to us button. You click uh -huh. that button, two clicks, your money's over. Pain has always been there. Pain of switch. Yeah. Change was always yeah. a challenge with banks. And a lot of them. When, when I speak to business audiences, I, I have, so, rel uh, recently I've changed my mantra from people, not consumers, to the following simple sentence. You have to understand people, and your products have to understand fit into people's lives. People's lives don't have to fit into your company. So you better damn well know something about people and people's lives and right. how they experience their life. And you know, it, it really takes 180 degree reorientation out to the world, to people, versus just thinking about you, the company, the product, the offering. Yeah. I just want to go over and say thank you for not saying a 360 degree change. Because I, I was at a conference yesterday or two days ago, and I said, We have to make a 360 degree change. I, 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 I just stood up. I said, You realize that brings you right back to where you started. <laughs> I was so angry. <laughs> it me off so much. <laughs> Full circle. <laughs> so, Peter, you had mentioned, I don't know if it was a real world story, but Megan taking her out, she's this slight upgrade of, I recognized your birthday, I put her on it. And she's tweeting. So, some may call that brand evangelism. Let's talk a little bit about that. Some people say that. It doesn't exist except for those 1% brands, the Harleys, the Apples, the, you know, the, the, those top echelons, the BMWs and Audis. But you described, you know, not everybody in the world knows anymore. In the mid and frankly, Joe's Steakhouse could have done the same thing. Yeah. In the Midwest, there is, a, there is a gas station slash 7-Eleven type company called The Come and Go. Anyone, if you've ever lived in Iowa or anywhere like that, you know Come and Go. K-U-M. A and D G O, and their tagline is I know, I know. And their tagline is always something extra, okay, which makes it even worse. I know. Yikes. You have never <laughs> seen. They have about. They have about <laughs> 100, 150 stores, Midwest. You have never seen a more loyal brand, a loyal cust customer base, than the people who go to come and go. And they, they, I just got my Slurpee. I got whatever. God, I love this place. They're hot dogs. It's a, it's a gas station. How do you think this? That, because every single employee is trained to be nice. They're trained to be nice. They're trained to say, how can I help? When you get gas. Well, to your point, you think they were hired to be nice. Yeah, well, that's what, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, yeah. I rephrased it. They were hired, they were nice, and so they were hired. They're a gas station. So whenever I talk to businesses, I have a, a sh shameless plug, I have a book coming out in February, my, my fourth book, uh, it's called Zombie Loyalists. And it's all about turning the customer, making the customers you have deliver the customers you want. You know, mm -hmm. the biggest problem I see is, is companies they, you know, we're at, um, at 9,999 followers, a 10,000th follower gets a prize. Translate that to screw you, original 9,999 followers, we don't care about you. It's like bringing the girl to the dance and, and look at a better dealer the second you get there. If you focus on the customers you have with these little tiny things, these little insignificant things that cost you nothing, mm -hmm. but again, bring the person back from being a number, that brings you that level of loyalty. I live on 42nd and 9th, there are 18 delis within, you know, a 30 foot radius. But the one on 42nd night, the guy knows that I like, the, when, I, when I have my sandwiches, I like the, the lettuce really, really shredded, and he remembers that. And I don't have to ask him, and I'll always go to that delicacy. Sure, you always go back? Always. Easiest thing in the world. It's almost always the, the little things. It's very exactly. It's in, and anybody can do it. You don't have to be a huge recognized brand. Anybody can do it. Totally. And then the other thing that, that managers, CEOs, executives, leaders of organizations have to understand is that